Hello, in this video I'm going to teach how to create an app to manage a table of products. So here for example uh, we have this table of products that has product ID, description, the quantity, the barcode, the unity and the minimum quantity. And we are going to connect our Power Apps to this table and create an app to insert and update products. Let's do that. So this table is inside my OneDrive account, inside a folder called Products, and the file name call, is called Products Workbook. I have selected the data and formatted as a table, so I just have to do this in order to our apps to recognize the data. And I called the data, I called this table Products Table. Let's go back to our Power Apps and connect to the data. So here I click on, on Data, Add Data, and choose OneDrive. OneDrive for business, in my case. If you have a personal account, you connect to the other option that's only OneDrive. Here I find the folder, that's Products, select, I select the file and the Products table. Once I click Connect, the data is brought inside my app. Here's the connection. Let's first create a gallery or a table. I think a table is going to be easier and faster right now to visualize this data. So I'm going to go to insert. Uh, what is it? Insert data table. And select the product table as a data source. Now I just have to expand here in the right and edit fields so let's go to edit fields add field and select the fields you want to see right now I'm going to select all of them I'll start with the uh, product ID description barcode minimum quantity quantity and unity I'm going to click on add and those fields are going to be populated in our table. Here we are. I just don't see any data in here. It was supposed we were supposed to see data. Let's try closing our file here because it's open. Maybe perhaps it doesn't like it. So I just closed. Let's go back to our app and hit refresh. Yes, here it is. Here we have all our data and we can see the same table inside our app. Let's now create a form to add new products. So let me just close this and let's, let's create this form. Let's see if I can first resize this table a little bit. Um, yes, let's resize the columns. So we, we have space for the form. Well, it won't look so nice, but that's not the purpose right now. Okay, there we are. Let's now go and insert a form to create a new, a new product to this table. I'm going to go to insert forms edit so it's an edit form where we can add new products here's the form let's move and let's select the data source for this form so i just click on the form go here to the right select the data source it's the same it's products table let's go to edit fields to, to add fields uh, just realized my face is not appearing in the camera Sometimes my camera stops working, so let's just remove this. Let's add a field and select all the fields we want to add. It's the same as the table, let's select everything. So product ID, description, barcode, minimum quantity, quantity and unity. All the fields are going to be inserted in my form, let's just close this. And we can see all the inputs here already created. Let's select only one column. And here we have our form. 
it created a radio form where we can fill the fields and submit the form and save the data. Let's see how to do this. Let's just hit play and see that nothing shows in here. That's because we need to call a function to create a form. A function, a function called new form. So let's X, exit the play mode, insert a button. And this button is going to call the function new form. So in the onSelect property of this button, let's just call new form and pass the form name as the argument. In this case, it's form one. Let's hit play now. There is nothing here because we still didn't call the new form function. And once we click the button, the form is created. Now we need a button to save the information that's inside this form to the, to the product table in our OneDrive. Let's exit the play mode. I'm just going to change the text of this button to uh, new form. And let's insert now and um, it didn't work. Oh, I just renamed the button. So let's rename to new form btn that wasn't changing the name the text but renaming the button that's fine let's go to the text property of this button and then we can change the text inside it so text let's say new form now let's insert a new button and and also change that oops and also to change the text to submit form. So I can also double click on this button, then I can edit the text. So it's going to be submit. In the unselect property of this button, I'm going to call a function that's, that will submit the data inside this form to the product table. So in the unselect, I just call the function submit form and pass the same form as argument, so form one. Once I click on it, the data I typed inside here will be saved in that table in OneDrive. Let's test. So let's hit play. Let's say product ID is going to be 11 because the next number here. It's possible to automate to auto generate the next number, but right now it's not the purpose, it's just to teach you how to use the form. So product ID is 11. Description is new prod 7, barcode some random number, minimum quantity 1, quantity 2, unity is peace. Let's submit. This is going to save this product we just created to our table and it's going to reflect in here, in this table here, and the product number 11 is already in here. If we open the file in OneDrive, that information will also be there. Let's see. Here is the product 11. If you want to learn more tricks like this one, just subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. I will be posting videos sometimes. And if you take a look at the description of this video, I have a URL to a course of mine in Udemy where I teach several tri tricks and I create a full working application that will manage an inventory. It's similar to this one. Well, see you in the next video. Bye bye.